I'm trying to think any other. Uh, uh, we're rolling. Okay, we are rolling. Uh, we, we uh, Johnny just interrupted a big John Candy discussion. <laughs> yeah. I guess to do. I guess we're doing. I guess we're doing a new now. creepy I mean, old crypt. We can have it again. We could, we could do a take two. <laughs> we'll save it as dessert for the end. We'll have another can. Well, hey, we'll have a little candy Ooh. for dessert. <laughs> what do you think of that? Anyway, welcome back. We have not done creepy old crypt in uh, I don't know how long. And it's been a long time. It's been months and months and months. Yeah, and uh, you know we're doing another one in studio Ooh. because we're not there right now. We didn't have the ability to record this there, but we wanted to talk about, we were dying to talk about since we went there, this iconic legendary theme park I had only heard in myths and legends, yeah. but we went there on our tour mm-hmm. this last fall. It was like kind of near Thanksgiving, near Christmas. Yeah. Dollywood, the greatest theme park in the Smoky Mountains. Oh, it's, it's I, in the middle of the woods. It's great. Oh, it's awesome. I'm wearing my commemorative Dollywood oh, beanie. Yeah. I, oh, I had the hoodie. I should have worn that too. Yeah. I got a full Dollywood get up, but you know. The, there, it was kind of holiday themed, mm-hmm. so I didn't. I kind of put it all away in a closet, but this is still. I still had this in my car, so yeah, it's whatever. still pretty chilly out right now. It is chilly for for San Diego. It's been fair. It's, it's been, been pretty freezing. cold. It's been freezing yeah, at night. It's been making me like feel like I'm back on the East Coast. Yeah, I, I kind of like it. It's nice yeah, the day, but the night, at night it gets pretty cold. Yeah, yeah. I'm I've been surprised. Normally I do all right, and normally I. I'm pretty no frills going when I go to bed. It's like, yeah, I sleep under a big ass blanket yeah. any day and that's fine. This time I'm like, I'm bundling up. I'm wearing d- fucking pants. I'm yeah. like doing, mm-hmm. I normally don't do that. So people are going to give us so much shit. Cause I know it's, it's probably only like 41 to 45 degrees. Yeah. It's been like freezing it, here. It's, it, no, it's been at night. Yeah. About 40 here yeah. for, for us. That's we're, yeah. we're not acclimated to that. No. I, when, it, when it hits 40, it's like, oh my God, batting down the hatches. <laughs> It's funny yeah. to me because it's like we're here like, ooh, it's cold. And the East Coast, they have like the worst Yeah, snowstorm it's like a huge snowstorm. Oh, yeah. Storm. I know people who uh, were in, on the East Coast for various projects, like filming stuff or whatever, that were basically, last week, were told like, yeah, if you wanted to go, that was yesterday. Yeah, the flights like, you, you lost. Yeah. Uh, and they can't um, fly away. So yep. anyway, I, I my heart goes out to them. Yeah, our our friends out. in Texas... Uh, I heard, uh, hey, I heard the weather's so bad, Ted Cruz just booked Alaskan Airlines. So, a <laughs> little humor for you. Someone on Facebook, I know, posted that. They were like, ooh, weather forecast for tonight. And it's just a picture of him with his luggage. <laughs> that, was, that was cracking me. <laughs> anyway, okay. guys, dad humor, yeah. dad jokes. This is what we're all about here. Um, uh, I'm trying to think another. Oh, Dollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were a lot of dads at Dollywood. A lot of dads. There were a lot of dads. Yeah, a lot I of dads. Saw, it was fucking freezing, but I saw a lot of like, like tattoos on arms, like holding, like big dads with like rolled up sleeves holding oh, their yeah. children. Yeah. I had a particular outfit I saved for our day when we went to Dollywood that I just thought would be fun. Someone um, sent in, I had a full camo Walmart long sleeve. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, and, and a Walmart, I think I had a, what, I had a Walmart beanie or something? Yeah. Or, or You I was, fit in so well with that. It was well, perfect. That's I was what I was so jealous. Like, yeah. I felt like I stuck out and you like blended in. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, so I, I wore that there and Sean was like, I've lost, sight of you yeah. 10 times today yeah, you, you because in. you blend in with everyone else here i can't <laughs> find you i saved that outfit specifically Wal- for Walmart that day. long sleeve was perfect oh it was so <laughs> i felt so good and uh i had a lot of time to myself at the park because this park is really primarily roller coasters yeah. big roller coasters um and uh it's i would say the the prime the three things you're going to see the most at Dollywood, boobs. I'm kidding. No, <laughs> no. D- Doll- Dolly's whole like legacy and like you know, there's a museum to yeah, her music great. and stuff like that. It's that roller coasters and Jesus Christ. Yep. Yeah. That is around every corner. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I made the joke a hundred times on our live show, so I'm sorry people have heard this a thousand times, but they make the all the pictures of Jesus everywhere lull you into thinking it's going to be a kind and 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 you know uh uh accepting park yeah. when in reality they're showing you who you're going to meet in 5 minutes cuz <laughs> oh, these yeah. these roller coasters were like ready to murder you there were some gnarly roller coasters it was crazy place. yeah 
It was absolutely insane. So I kind of, I'm glad we're all here. Originally, this is going to be me and Kevin. But yeah. I'm glad Johnny's joining us because we have very different perspectives. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys went on a lot of roller coasters. Yeah. Some more than others. I yeah, don't know. I'm middle ground on the roller coasters. I can yeah. go on some. Some I'm just like, I'll pass. Yeah. I'm a fucking coaster yeah, head go I nuts. die. Johnny's coaster head. And then I'm not going on any of those. Yeah. So my stories are all about eating cinnamon bread and going on the train. <laughs> you know, so, but that's great. We have all the different yeah. angles to the park. But uh, yeah, was very surprised at how much roller coaster content. And let me just say too, the fact that I didn't go on any of those did not take away from my day. It's oh, still yeah. an it, amazing part. It is. I'll just say it up front. That is, I think. I I think. Now I've been to all the theme park, all the Disney theme mm -hmm. parks here in America. I've been to Tokyo Disney, Tokyo Disney Sea, one of the most beautiful theme parks yeah. I've ever seen in my life. Disneyland Paris, beautiful yeah. beyond belief. I. I think I'm going to plant my flag. I think Dollywood is the most beautiful theme park. I actually, wow. I, I think so it is. Now, um, the structures and the the way that the those those parks overseas are made mm. is beautiful. But Dollywood is did, God did all the work. Yeah, it is in the middle of the Smoky Mountains. Driving, yeah. driving to Dollywood was one of the prettiest drives I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it was unbelievable. It was so nice. Yeah, we saw elk. Yeah, we saw elk, yeah. and we're going through the Smoky Mountains, and it's yeah. just scenic and oh it was so nice and then you just land in pigeon for tennessee yeah and it's just dollywood central there and again the way that they build the theme park feels very like knott's berry farm or old, you know yeah. it feels very old ghost town so i'm not saying like the architecture is amazing mm. but the fact that they got a theme park in that beautiful endless forest yeah is like that was half the charm of being there was just like oh going on my some of the God. coasters and being that close to like the woods and stuff. I was yeah. like, this is such an experience of being yeah. like on this coaster in the middle of a forest. Yeah, it's it was and, so, it was so cool. And the one thing I was bummed you guys didn't get to experience, but again, while you guys, I don't remember what ride you guys were doing. Yeah, but I took the train. Yeah, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. But that train just goes through the mountains, yeah. and it was like, yeah. uh, I am. In I need heaven uh, right next now. time I go. I need to go on that. It was awesome. Uh. And what's what's even more incredible is that you're you'll see all that scenery and your jaw drops. Uh, you actually don't want to have your jaw drop because <laughs> soot from the coal of the train runs rampant and will get your you will have a completely coal filled mouth by the yeah. end of that ride. So I like you know, just that pick it your still jaw. runs on coal because it is it hasn't been retrofitted at all. It just yeah. runs on straight coal, which is cool in one part because. I've never smelled a cold driven train. Before. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure that's how it smelled. Yeah. 200 years ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it smells like that now. And yeah. it's like, okay, that that's a cool experience. Of, of it, hearing it, that whistle and smelling. It is cool. I, the, the environment might be weeping. Yes. But no, it, I was going to say it cracks me up that it's so funny. I, I really have come to like really get, really enjoy. I don't mean to make the sound condescending at all. I genuinely embrace non-Californian experiences more and more, you know, because I've grown up here. Yeah. I love California. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But it's like when we leave and we tour around, I really try. I, I want to see the shit you would never see in California. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see an in and out. I don't want to see yeah. a, a, a beach. Just show me like distinctly. Yeah. Not, I want the real experience. And uh, that was one where I'm sitting on that train. They're like, did you know we burn 500 tons of coal a day? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, you, cool. you do? Um, I might be off on that number, but it was a huge number. And I'm just thinking, like, in California, they would be doing the opposite. They'd be like, you know, we got this running on water? Like, yeah. we don't, ha you know what I mean? It, they would the, the, be telling. Like, Disneyland train, I'm sure it's just run. Like, it's all water, but it's yeah, just, yeah. like, the way they heat it up, I, I don't even know what they've retrofitted. The no, they, yeah, they, they I, I see them dump tons of water into yeah. it. I don't know how, I don't know how it works. So. I don't know how they heat it. But, uh, it could be gas or something like that. Yeah, but no, I, I they, they uh, it, it's oil burning, maybe? I, that's maybe. what I'm seeing in the chat. Yeah. But uh, they definitely have, like, retrofitted some things. Yes. Whereas uh, Dollywood, they, they no. take pride in, it's, nope, we're... It's classic you coal. See it. You can yeah. see the plume of smoke coming out of the smokestack uh, as we're walking into the park. Yeah, it is. It is kind of crazy. So <laughs> anyway, but uh, what an experience. Anyway, yeah. but so I was kind of off doing stuff like that. What, so as soon as we got there, we were on like roll. You guys went on roller coasters right. and all that the stuff. The first ride we went on was Blaze and Fury. Yes. Yeah. And that was, in, um, uh, that was fucking it was I'd wild. say 90 percent 
shitty dark ride and yeah. 10% coaster. See, this one, I was kind of like, oh, should I go on this? But I wasn't sure it, what level it was at. You know, it was I, lo- I, went, I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it because it, yeah, it is just, it's all of these animatronics and they're just, they have like one point. So they're just like, tarnation, what's going to happen next? Yeah. And what was the theme of it? It was like fire. Like fire. Um, it, it was based on like, like fire department and stuff like that. So like, it's an old West town that's like on yeah. fire and the story is very thin, but it's just, and you got to escape the fire basically. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just the, it looks old and beat up. And great. I love it for that. Yeah, uh, that was a ride that I think I heard about um, was already there before she bought the park, I think. Like it was built into the mountain Mm -hmm. or something. There's a lot of there were a lot of coasters that were like straight up built. There there was one roller coaster. I don't know the name of it. I think you guys maybe went on it that like goes kind of through the mountain. Yeah, it was built into the mountain and it's been there since it's been there 100 years. It's not, you know, yeah, wasn't a dolly edition. No. So I'm looking at all the rides here on my phone. You're trying to find the names? Yeah, because uh, we went on like, I think we went Mystery on. Mystery Mine is the, is the crazy one. I went on Mystery Mine and Thunderhead. I think were the two. Yeah, and then Thunderhead oh. was the one. <laughs> I ran into you guys leaving. Yeah. Um, you guys were heading down the thing and I was heading up. And um, I ran and, and Sean was like scrambled. Oh, like, yeah. Sean was just like, not in like, it looked like he had fun, but it was in a like, I, I don't know what just happened to me. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of kind of situation. Because yeah. <laughs> I remember we went on another one too that was right next to, uh, that the the dark ride. But I can't remember the fucking name of it. It's driving me crazy. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Describe it. I may know it. It was one that we all went on together. Like you were with me. Oh, that is the Tennessee Twister. Okay, that one was oh. awesome too. Yeah, Tennessee Twister was a lot of fun. It had a bunch of loops. I sat on. Uh, I, I sat next to Jay, our tour manager, and yeah, had a blast. it was almost like a bonding moment. Yeah, oh yeah, we were we were on it, and I, like like we just sat next to each other, and we're like having a blast. It was it was fun. <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun. Um, can I talk about my experience in line for the mystery mine? Yeah, we I think it was you, Garrett, and Derek, right? Oh, yeah, Did Sean go on yeah. It? No, Sean. Didn't okay, go he on. didn't go on that. Oh, no, okay, I didn't okay. go on that, and Sean didn't go on that. Oh, okay. We, we, we split off and did other things while you guys got in line for that. Yeah. Okay. So we're in line for uh, the Mystery Mine, which was probably my second favorite coaster uh, at the park. And uh, a, all of a sudden, there's this kid in front of us, and he goes like, "Hey, everyone there had an accent, so I'm going to do an accent." Yeah. Uh, he was just <laughs> like, "Hey, are y'all my age?" And we we're like, Haha, "Depends. How old are you?" And he's like. I'm 17. And we're like, nope. <laughs> nope. And he's like, cool. I just feel akin. I don't like anyone my age. I feel akin to people older. You all do drugs? And we're like, nope. And he's like, cool, man. I'm a bit of a Cosmo knot. I get, I got really, I, <laughs> and then we're like, what does that mean? And he's like, oh, he was just telling us that he does a lot of hallucinogens and he lives in a cabin in the woods with his grandma <laughs> and how she doesn't, she was at the park apparently, but he, he didn't know where the fuck she went. And I was like, okay. Um, <laughs> And then he was like, can I ride with y'all? And we're like, sure, man. And then we went on the, that ride, and it was probably the strangest ride I've ever been on. Uh, it takes off into an immediate Down? dip. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, Is it into the mountain? This? Oh, no, no. Oh, it's okay, like, it's, okay. it, like It immediately drops, and then it goes vertical. Yeah. The, oh, li- the, lift, is, the lift is straight up. The drop would, isn't straight up. I would like straight down rather right there. die so than go on that. That was... I don't know why. I was like, oh, it's vertical. That should be fine. I'm used to so many drops and shit. Going vertical, I had to close my eyes. It, Dude, it, and you were it, just going up. It, it felt so eerie. You. You're Fuck. like, you're like this. Like, going like that. Like oh, straight up. No, I'd rather die. And you see, it's like a screen at the top of like a mine getting sucked up into a twister. And then you get to the top and you go down. And then you go to, uh, do a second uh straight up oh. and then you, it, you get to the top and then all of a sudden it's like the mine's exploding they shoot a fucking <laughs> fire. S- stream of fire at you is it real fire it's yeah. real fire you feel they the shoot heat. real fire what I was the like fuck? what the fuck and then, then you i just, didn't know this and then you it, it sends you out i wish i could probably put like yeah. pov videos on here um and then it does what like kind of, what kind of pov video yeah, okay, yeah. well whatever if you find <laughs> it does like a z formation you're like going straight and like whoop and you and then it ends. It was like the weirdest fucking ride I've ever been on. <laughs> um, sorry. It was a little ta- a bit wow. of a tangent. No, 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 no. This is exactly what I wanted to hear about. I did not know there was real fire involved. Yeah. Yeah. I, I watched the ride through of it. It looked, it looked pretty cool. Dude, the fire, like Derek started screaming. He was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> you guys came off that like, dude, that was awesome. You should have went on it. Like, uh, yeah. Is there, 
Oh, sorry. Right, no, I was it. just going to say, is, I'm trying to think, is there any other ride that has real fire on it? I'm trying to think. What? Uh, that sounds like something I've seen, but what? I went on another ride at Dollywood that had real fire on it, but I'm trying to think outside of that. Yeah. Like mm. at Disneyland, is there one with real fire? Indiana Jones. Real fire. That's not does a that roller coaster. Have, does that have real fire? Yeah. That, it does, it's, yeah. it's not. Where? It's in the Mars uh, face. It has real fire. Yeah, it's always going. Okay. And it flames up. It, yeah. For some reason, I was going blank on that. I'm know, like, is there? There's real fire in effect? that. I'm trying to think. Someone yeah. said the mummy you know? in Orlando has real fire. Is there real fire one. in uh, Universal when the when the thing collapses? You know, the earthquake. There's got to be fire in there, yes. isn't there? Um, there is fire in. Yeah. There's fire in that one in the subway thing and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I honestly just suddenly I was stopping like what attractions have real fire? Yeah. And it was just baffling that it wasn't just like an explode. It was like they shot the fire at us and it was only a couple inches away. Yeah. Like Damn. I was like, if I, if, if I had really long arms, I probably could have touched the fire. Ooh. Wow. It's, which seems extremely dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Universal had backdraft. Didn't they get rid of that? Isn't backdraft? Yes. Gone? Backdraft is now ter- um, Transformers. Oh. Um. Um. At the I end of that, that ride. I hated that ride. I've never been on uh, Backdraft. Been on Transformers, though. You know, one of the lead dudes who developed the Transformers ride was th- was pulled onto uh, Galaxy's Edge, and I think really? I think it's the dude that was in charge of uh, Rise of the Resistance. Oh, okay. So when that news broke, it was kind of like, uh-oh. Uh, the screens? Uh-oh. Is it just going to be like that? But hey, but Disney, I think, gave him like, yo, whatever budget you want. Yeah. Here. Cool. And so there you go. With unlimited budget. Anyone can make a good yeah. ride. I saw footage of Rise of the Resistance breaking down, and it was fucking terrifying. It's like it got to the part with uh, really? with Kylo like talking, and, yeah. it, and all of a sudden he's like, mm, like that, and then, oh. then you just hear a voice going like, "Please stay calm. Everything is okay." Like some shit like that. Whoa. <laughs> and I was like, "This is horrific." I would love to walk. That is yeah. a ride I would love to walk around in. If you know what Disney should do, sorry, Dolly, we'll get back to you yeah. in a second. You know what Disney should do, and I hate to give them ideas to sap more fucking money from people. <laughs> If Disney had a thing that was, I'm going to, I'm, I, I won't say exactly, but hundreds of dollars where it was an after hours Disney thing and you could go and it would be like held in the chamber in, yeah. cause there's no track in there. No, you can just walk around. If they had an event in the Star Destroyer in that ride, That'd be cool. I, whatever, let me know where and when it is. I would do that. They did one a long time ago for uh the Jungle Cruise, uh, Jungle Cruise where yeah, you could like eat on the, eat on the banks of the Jungle Cruise. And I almost did it, but it was like, I don't think you could go. It and there was a pricey bunch, It was kind of pricey, and no one else I know could go. And then I started to look online at who was going, and it's like, I don't want to eat with these guys. Sorry, no offense yeah. to anybody who might be watching this, but it was some freaky, there's some freaky ass people going on that thing. <laughs> I didn't want to get involved. Yeah, you could totally set up just tables anywhere in there, even in the, yeah. the Star Store, like the, the, it, right at the entrance. If they did a Star Wars dinner and it was right in the center of that Star Destroyer, oh, I would. Name your price. No, it's okay, not wait, more than on. fifty bucks. What? Yeah, a thousand bucks. Would you pay that? Oh no, oh, that's a, a lot, you're not, Johnny. You're not supposed but, to name a price. For sorry, so I just want to know. <laughs> a thousand's a lot. Okay. That is a lot for a dinner. That's pretty much how much the Star Wars hotel is. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I, I uh, no, it. it's more. Oh shit. Oh, oh it's oh. more than that. So you're yeah. getting a deal. You're getting yeah, a half yeah. off. You're getting a deal. <laughs> you're getting a deal. I maybe I'm going to sound naive just to talk about the Star Wars hotel for a second. Maybe I'm sounding naive. Everything they show for it has been pretty like oof. Yeah. I love the idea of it, but they keep showing stuff, and it's like oh, I don't know if that's worth the pr- the price you're asking for. Yeah. I they they put out today. There's a comic that is it's called like Star Wars Galactic Star Cruise or something, okay. or it's Halcyon or something, yeah. where it's about the ship that that hotel is on. And there's all kinds of wild shit in it. And I am I want to believe that there is a ton of stuff that the story team doesn't want to show. I yeah. am holding to that. Like there has to be a reason they're charging this much money that, that they're showing the pretty normal stuff. And then when the day comes to people stay there, they, Oh my God, we got fucking like the ship was taken over and we <laughs> had, to, we got fucking Darth Vader came and fucking killed someone in front of us. And you know what I mean? Slice I, I am going to be naive and say there has to be something because I refuse to believe that they're charging this much just for I think what I, they're showing. I think, once it opens up, people are going to start going. They're going to realize it's not as bad as everybody's saying it is. Uh-huh. 
like based on all the stuff. I think people yeah. are going to enjoy it and people like it needs to open for people yeah. are now making their own assumptions about yes. it. Yes, yes, yes. And they need to just open it up and so people can finally see what they're doing. Yeah. I I want to know I I just think regardless of whether people like it or not, I think I think there's going to be some big surprise shit. I just think that. Yeah. Because they what they've shown has been so tepid. And I know it could be just like it's just not very good. I know, but there there has to be more to it. To, for them to build this whole thing, it can't just, they keep just showing like, hey, look at the weird uh, alien woman here and uh, you could control this, the ship. They're only showing two, like two things. Yeah. That just makes me think they don't want to show the rest of the movie. You know yep. what I mean? I think so. We'll too. see. But I also think it would be hilarious if people went, no, that's all it is. <laughs> I, I, I fucking moved a joystick around and I paid fucking $5,000. Five <laughs> so, uh, in your perfect world, fuck Dollywood. In your perfect world, <laughs> what would be in the Star Wars hotel? For me, hey, wh wh what I could hear, someone asked this on Twitter the other day, what would they do that would make it like you'd hear this and go, oh my God. They already did it. I'm going. Uh, a new ride. And I they did it. I don't have to go to the hotel dude, to do it. Dude. That's all I want is a new Galaxy's Edge. And this is not going to be a new. You know Galaxy's what's Edge. lame? You know what I have to say is lame about that? They said like. Board, boarding onto those rides is part of the yeah. experience. You can go right. You on. get admission, and they and they just take you on those rides. Cool. Okay. They they just contacted the people who booked it, and it's like, all right, we sent you your free uh, lightning lane, like you know, fast pass, basically. Yeah. We sent it to you, and it's like there isn't going to be like a story thing. You should have like where they like, got like, where they bring hey, you on. Yeah, we got to get like no we gotta get you guys out of here we got to get on this, this yeah thing. like i thought there would be a thing where they it. would like oh a, a character would like guide you on to it or something it's like no here's a fast pass so you know whenever you're in the park just go it's like that's it huh yeah all right well, i was never gonna go on this anyway so eh, <laughs> that's not it's, you're still a little up in the air you might go you you, you might go <laughs> we'll talk later anyway okay Dolly i got Wood. wraps up to oh dollywood dollywood Dollywood. Okay, Dollywood so. Dollywood a hotel, but we never went on Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what would they do that you would say that was worth the Star Wars hotel price? Okay, um, for me, what I want to hear, I just want them to fucking do some bad shit late at night. Like, you're going to bed, and buh, 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 and fucking Boba Fett is, like, at your door, like, surrender your materials. Kids and are crying. I want I want <laughs> something to happen at night where they fuck everyone's night yeah, up. I where everyone I want everyone to come out onto the bridge in their pajamas like, like hey, this this is an emergency, we're under attack. Yeah. That's what I want. And if they're not willing to go that far, <laughs> That's how I feel about it. That's Kids are going, me. mommy, dad, are we going to die? Dude, <laughs> if I was a kid and that shit happened, it's like, hey, we need to, we have to fight back. Everyone on their battle stations. I would be like, yeah. Oh my God. So that's what they need to do. Yeah. So are they going to do it? Anyway, do guys, please, Dollywood, what do you, <laughs> what else did you do? Uh, I, we got like fucked up nachos, right? <laughs> we got nachos that? that were like, beef nachos they're really good no no yeah, they, were they were potato yeah. they were fries they were uh delicious yeah. and that's when we just finished up and we see rocco coming down the way with a yeah. paper bag and it was like oh <laughs> he has arrived so yeah while they were on those roller yeah. coasters i i had heard i you know again i was looking for stuff to do i want to give a shout out to guy selga yes because he had just, just gone recently, to dollywood like a few months right before, before that yeah Maybe not. Maybe, maybe one month. Yeah, maybe ahead of that. that. Yeah. And he messaged me like, "Hey, you need to get that cinnamon bread. Don't fuck around. Yeah, don't. <laughs> you need to get bread. that cinnamon bread." And I was like, "Okay, well, I'll do that." Uh, you know. And I look, and there there was a line as long as any coaster. Yeah. <laughs> for the cinnamon bread, because I get, and I talked to some people, and uh, they said, "Oh, you know, it's famous. Like the, the cinnamon bread. It's been made in this uh, like." It's a mill. This mill it looks right like here. A mill building. And that was something I think that was there even before when Dolly owned the park. Because yeah. again, it was some older park before. Hey, there's guys. Guys in the chat. Hey. What's up, guy? Hello. But anyway, uh that it, I think it had been there like a hundred years or something like that. Yeah, he was only there a few weeks before we got oh, there. Oh, that's how great. funny. But anyway, so I was like, all right, that'll be what I do. And it took about that long. You guys had like finished the ride and I was just getting the bread. Yeah. And I was like, Okay, well, how good can it be? So I got a few loaves of it yeah, just it because comes in like a, a rectangular tin. Yeah, they keep it kind of wrapped in and foil they like and all that it, stuff. Bake it in and stuff. Yeah, and I got a few because it's like, well, none of us are waiting in this line again, so I'll just keep some warm. Maybe they'll want to have some yep. later. And 
it was the most authentic Dollywood experience because I got that bread and then walked out and someone literally said to me, because there's a theater right outside the bread place. Yeah. And the guy was like, you got your bread just in time. Show's just starting. I'm like, oh, they have a show here? And as soon as, I, when you say theme park show, in my head, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking, phantasmic, yeah. world of color, uh, 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 water world. Lincoln. Like I go in and it's like, this is the story of the birth of Jesus Christ. <laughs> and it was a whole nativity play and it was awesome. That's great. They had the wise men coming in. I mean, they committed to it. And I'm like, man, I, again, definitively on California experience. Yeah. You know, you just wouldn't see that here. And I sat down and they're like, no, this is, we're doing the whole nativity. Here it is. <laughs> and it's a, like a grandpa telling the daughter about the nativity. And then it flashes back to that. And I'm like this, I'm sitting there eating cinnamon bread in yeah. the smoky mountains, the birth of Jesus. And I'm just like, yep, doesn't get any better than this. This is great. Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah. So then you guys eventually got off the road. Oh, so I, I actually rode on the train once too, cause you guys still weren't off. Yeah. Mm. Looped around. Um, and looped around and I tried to eat the cinnamon bread on the train what little I had hadn't eaten yet and it was mouthfuls mouthfuls of soot <laughs> it was like mm, uh, 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 uh. Uh, my my clothes were all. It was like, like sandy. You got it was like, like miner's s- lung. Yeah, yep. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> it was unbelievable. But again, being on the train, an- again another <laughs> similar experience. The train starts and it's Dolly telling you Christmas stories. Hi, y'all. It's me, uh, Dolly. <laughs> and uh, don't forget all the best things about Christmas is giving gifts to the ones you love. Don't forget the birth of Jesus. Anyway, when I was little, uh, my my family, they, my parents, they didn't have wedding rings. Couldn't afford them. And, and then she told a story about like how they made rings yeah. or something like that. But they were blowing the church, the 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 train whistle so loud it just drowned. <laughs> drowned so, out Dolly. Yeah, and then and then she's just like, well, I guess uh, we're at a good point. I'll just sing y'all a song, and we can- and then she started singing Christmas songs. It was like this rules. Yeah, because this we, is we awesome. Went, like right at the beginning of the Christmas overlay yeah. for the whole part. Well, I'm Which so is, glad we saw that. Awesome. Oh, it was so yeah. good. Oh, I wanted to add something to that as a, as a young Jewish boy. Yeah, uh, there were moments where I was like, "Oh, this is crazy." <laughs> uh, it, it would just be like, uh, you know, we'll probably talk about it later. There was like a museum section. I go in there, yeah. and, and I'm like, "Oh, hey, thanks." Uh, like when I leave, I'm like, "Oh, thanks, that was awesome." And then the woman just like, "Merry Christmas," and I was like, <laughs> uh, "Yeah, cool, thank you." <laughs> I don't know what to do. It there was, was like, no, there was no happy holidays. Yeah, in that it was part. just no, like no. people would like <laughs> stop me. It, multiple times happened. Would stop me after I bought something and be yeah. like. Merry Christmas. Yeah, don't forget, <laughs> like, Merry Christmas. And I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I know, again, another detour in the conversation here. Did you ever, I always see the constant, you know, oh, the, the war on Christmas. Okay, yeah, we've all seen that. Yeah. But I, I, in, only, in, only in like, I feel like the last decade of my life have I seen people go like, I'm, no, I'm, happy holidays? That's not good enough. I got to say Merry Christmas. I feel like that's always what the argument is. Yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, I said happy holidays without even thinking about it because it, yeah. I never once thought that was like a, like, oh, it's a compromise so that everyone can say their thing. No, it made sense because there's a bunch of holidays at the end of the year. Like, yeah. I never, I said that as a kid, not even considering any other angle to it. So when I, when I see adults mad about that, like, no, I want to say Merry Christmas. I'm like, isn't that the same fucking thing? Yeah. Like, I <laughs> never have, I never in my life have heard that where I thought, oh, you're n- you're not going to say anything about Christmas like it never even occurred to me. <laughs> I think they were saying it super intense cuz I l- I definitely looked like I wasn't from there. Yeah, we, oh. <laughs> we looked I, they were like taken aback when I would just say, "Oh, thanks." <laughs> and then I'd walk away. <laughs> like they're like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. Yeah, it really is weird though. Like I said, I said happy holidays since I was like yeah. born. It was that was like, yeah, there's a bunch of ho- there's New Year's, there's uh, there's, uh, there's, I mean, I mean there's, there's Christmas, obviously yeah, Hanukkah mystery, and all the other ones. Mystery days. <laughs> yeah. And then the, you know, the mystery days. No, but, uh, there's a, there's a ton of holidays. So you say happy holidays. That was never a weird thing to me. And all these adults going like, what, what is this happy holidays? Uh, that's been my whole life. That's yeah. not weird to me yeah. at all. Yeah. These but. holidays didn't just fucking appear in the, the fucking eighties or whatever. Fuck. Yeah. Like yeah. they've been around for forever. It's something. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. chat is nailing it. It's like bo- boomers found a thing to be mad yep. about. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, sorry, boomers. I know you might be a Dolly Parton fan if you're a boomer, but you know, 
We're owning the boomers today. That's how it is. <laughs> this is what we do. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the train thing was wonderful. Anyway, got off the train, found yeah. out you guys got off the, the coaster or the, yeah. 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 And the the cinnamon bread was still warm. It It was, did you guys ever watch... I'm going to do, this is going to be, you're going to be like, why the fuck are you bringing this up? Did anyone here watch Death Note? Uh, I, I, I actually read the saw Death Note like a year ago. You watched the show? The whole thing, yeah. You did? Yep. Okay. So, the entire manga. Okay, okay so you, I'm not spoiling anything. No, 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 you're not spoiling it at all. There's a point in the show where Light says, I want to, I'm, I'm running a game here. I don't want to remember the Death Note anymore. So if I give it away, I'll lose my memories. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then I'll get my memories back if I touch the Death Note yeah. later. And so later on in the show, he does, and they're like, hey, Light, are you okay? And they go over to him after ha having touched the Death Note again, and he's like, <laughs> they just cut to him like, he yeah, looks like he's, like, he looks like he's cumin, yeah. he's, yeah. you know? <laughs> that was when we gave the cinnamon bread to our tour manager, Jay. He was I was like, yeah, guys, help, <laughs> yeah, seriously. I was like, help yourself, and I stepped away for a minute. Hey, does anybody want napkin? And he was like, over there with the bread. <laughs> and he went, he was just I was like you okay he was like fighting me he was like yeah. he was like Rocco <laughs> Rocco man you did a good thing <laughs> Rocco man you did it's like everything all right oh <laughs> yeah everything's great it was like he <laughs> it's like the scene in Pulp Fiction when, when they seriously thing, like are we good yeah we're good yeah he was seriously like he it was like he yeah. spoke to God yeah. it was I was like is everything okay he's like this is just this is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me I think it's he like, was just what? baffled you like because I feel like you're a very charitable person like you're like oh I want to share this with everyone you get a lot of it I think he was like oh there's three tins of this yeah we bought you got multiple yeah. so we could have I don't, plenty I don't know if it's just a me thing yeah. or an Italian thing. Yeah. When I get food, I always try to get enough for everybody. Yeah. Where if it's like I'm at the cinnamon bread thing, I, I could not leave with a thing for myself. It was like, no, give me a fucking pile of this yeah. because I want everyone else to eat it. Yeah. It's the, I have in case I, ha I haven't pointed this out as a problem enough already. <laughs> I have feast mentality oh, on yeah. everything. It's like, oh, this is a rare uh, treat. Everyone's got to eat it. Not you know, and I've liked that with everything. And thank you for that because we, yeah, yeah, we weren't gonna you. stand in that line again. <laughs> no, that's what I figured. Like, I was in that line. I'm like, no one else is gonna do this. And it, you know. it was such a nice treat afterwards. Yeah. So uh, anyway, he was just I'd never seen him in that form before or since. Yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah. So, but you guys <laughs> tried it. There yeah. was a point where like he took a bunch of it and he's like, oh man, I'm good. And then uh, no one else wanted what was left. I'm like, there oh, was like yeah. there was like a piece left. Yeah. yeah. And I started eating some of it. And he's like. <laughs> Yeah, let, let me rip that a piece off. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, it, you could tell he would have kept going. Yeah. Over, like, yeah. It, like, he was in heaven with that cinnamon bread. Well, I thought what I thought you were going to say is there was a part where he was just like, I don't want to eat all of it. And I was like, I have another loaf. <laughs> oh, 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 I forgot about okay. that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you, Rocco. Oh, man. He got a another okay. loaf out. And he was like, what? Yeah, it was like suddenly it was like the day was saved. Because he was like, I don't, well, don't want to have too I much. Totally There's a whole extra loaf. No. <laughs> I just never, I saw him just, it was in a rare form. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I had that. Yeah. And, oh, man, it was amazing. It yeah. was like the best, like, it, it kind of tasted like a Cinnabon, but like just fluffier and like less sugar. Even though there was a ton of sugar on it, it wasn't yeah. like where you feel like you're going to fucking get diabetes yeah. from eating it. No. But like it was like. It was deceptive. Like it was really. I felt like it was honestly really like baked into it. Yeah. Like it was it, really it was, like. It reminded me of a lot of a cinnamon pull apart because it's ooh, all yeah. just yes. in. It, you could tell they bake it. They just throw this in the dough and the cinnamon yeah. and everything into a tin, and they bake it in that, and that's what you buy. Yes. You buy this tin that has been baked in, and it's very good. Let, let me ask you a serious question. Yeah. Give me an honest answer. Yeah. Cinnamon pull apart. Do you hate when people call it monkey bread? Or do you not care? I do not care. Okay. It's because I could see that being an annoying name. Like, yeah. what the hell is monkey, monkey bread? bread? Whatever. Some uh, people call it that, but it, it, I'm still getting it. Like, yeah. it doesn't. Matter. <laughs> yeah. It, what, nothing you call me. it whatever it, you want. I, I love. I love cinnamon rolls and cinnamon yeah. monkey. Um, um, monkey bread or yeah, cinnamon. But bread it bread. was comparable to that. I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but man, that stuff was. Oh, yeah, I'm, that was really I'm good. thinking about it right now, and I'm. Let's go back. We had a whole ass dinner before we filmed this, and I could. I'm. I could. I'd fly out tonight. If you guys did it, I would fly out tonight and get a loaf and come back <laughs> and be back before work. <laughs> um, 
That would be legitimately funny. Rocco, where are you? I, I had to have that. cinnamon bread. I'm yeah. so sorry. Sorry. Anyway. Oh, uh, uh, there's one <laughs> There's one part we skipped over that I do want to say that <laughs> I, I was laughing really hard about. What? When we got to Dollywood, yes. when we pulled oh, up, yeah, yeah, again, yeah. beautiful view, yeah. scenic drive, mm -hmm. incredible. Now, I have you know, everyone's going to have their opinion you know, whatever we were on tour. And so we were, I mean, even if we weren't on tour, we would have been very careful yeah. about uh, COVID and, you know, and we were starting to hear about Omicron yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, just yeah. starting to, but we were on tour. I did not want to fuck around. No. I did not want to like, we're going to like a thousand different cities. I ain't, I ain't messing around. Yeah. So we had masks on, we were masked up that whole trip. Um, and, uh, People in Dollywood did not share that opinion. <laughs> no. I think we were the only people in masks, were we? Very no. select few other people. And again, to be fair, all the workers were wearing yes. masks. Yeah. All and, the workers yeah. were. And to be fair, it there, you know, there were a lot of numbers dying down before yeah. that point. So it's yeah. not like whatever. Okay, fine. And honestly, I was outdoors like the entire time anyway. So I wasn't yeah. really there were times I, I I did have my mask off when I was just off, you know you know, going through yeah. mountain shit. But, you know, yeah, if I was with a billion people, I put a mask on. But anyway, uh, so when we we pulled up to the park, again, we had that conversation. Is it, It's going to be safe to do this, right? Yeah, this park is so mostly outdoors and it's whatever. It, it, it's not going to matter. Then we pull up to the parking lot and the tr the parking lot trams look like World War Z. <laughs> the, it was Dude. like they were, it was like 10 billion people elbow to elbow trying to get onto this tram up the hill up the hill uh, into the park and so we pulled up in our tour van and and our tour manager was like Yo, what's the parking situation here and they're like oh 20 bucks to park here oh okay um but for 45 you get vip parking you could park this van right by the gate up there and just walk in Oh yeah, okay, hey, we'll hey we're all like, hey, 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 here's an extra five bucks. Go, 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 go. Just go, 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 go. Yeah, Make like it 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, yo, you could have asked for a hundred dollars. Yeah. I would a van skip of seven this shit. People. Like, yeah. it's so easy. We're on our own tram, basically. Yeah, yeah. It was um, like, go, 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 go. And so we we drove the van all the way to the top, right by the fucking door. Yeah. It was like, oh, it's thank so you. nice. I my heart <laughs> sank when we showed up and I saw like the people uh yeah. into it, like that no was, offense. That was sketchy. No offense to if you live there or anything, I'm sure it's just like you know, a specific sect of people that were at the park, but I felt there was like fucking mutants getting into. The yeah, it was. No, it was a bad. Yeah, it was scene. like fucking scary. <laughs> it was a bad scene. Uh, people like fucking j piling on top of each yeah. other to get into it. It was like, nope, not doing that. <laughs> like uh, people with like like two kids on each hand, like walking and they're out, lifting like, them up and yeah, piling yeah. them into the thing. I mean, it just it. it, it I can't stress Chuck enough into it. that scene. It looked like a bad scene. Yeah, it, it looked like up. it looked like people trying to escape the Titanic. Yeah, it yeah. was just like no, just get just get in the vehicle, <laughs> just do it. Uh, it was bad anyway. But, but anyway, we bypassed all that. We bypassed all of that. In fact, we were by an entrance that then at night when we left, it was like, dude, we're parked right outside the exit. And when we exited at that special exit. They gave us a Dolly Parton CD. Yep. Oh yeah. They had it. They, they were like, "Here you go. Here you go." Like, what other theme park away. would give you a Dolly Parton album on the way out? I know. Other than her own. Yeah. Uh. So anyway, that was that was really that was really special nice. experience. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, talk about cinnamon bread. Talk about the train already. Whatever. What other coasters did you do, or anything else you guys saw? We did the uh, Tennessee Twister. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Lots of loops and stuff. Sorry. Uh, talked about the mine. Somebody in the yeah. chat said a pardon a pardon gift. <laughs> I like that. I, anyway, I, sorry. Good. I do have another coaster story. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went on. Uh, I'm trying to get the name. Of, uh, Thunderhead and Thunderhead. Yeah. Uh, so. Sean was doing this thing where he would look up how long the coasters were. And usually really? coasters are around like 30 to 60 seconds. Yeah, yeah they're not long, and, right? And uh, Sean was like, I think this ride's like a minute 30 or something like that. Oh. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> um, it might be less. But like yeah. he, he said some number where I was like, that's got to be wrong. Um, so we get on the ride and they're right in, uh, in the first car is this uh, dad and his like, I would say like four, five, six-year-old kid. And uh, Derek starts talking. He's like, oh, hey, you let, you let your little kid on? Uh, like, or he, he started making jokes to me like, see, this little kid's on. We're, we're going to be good. We're, we're going to survive. <laughs> and uh, the, the guy turns back. And he's like, yeah, he's been on this three times already. 
uh, it's pretty, oh. it's pretty nuts. So uh, strap in, and we're like, <laughs> what? <in>. okay. Um, <laughs> this was the most insane coaster I've ever been on in my fucking life. We banked turns where I thought the car was gonna shoot off of the the. the oh my god! I watched this. Yeah, and it only banks turns. Yeah, like that's it. No, it's just constantly. Yeah. Just you're 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 never released from this oh. this hellhole, and it's like a <laughs> minute a minute of yeah. banking turns so hard, and you think you're gonna fu- like. Also, I had the thing on, but not. I don't like to put uh, yeah. harnesses super tight on me because yeah. it hurts my stomach. You're like some wiggle room. So I was a little loose. I literally felt like myself coming out of the seat. Uh. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> um, fuck that. But it came to a screeching halt. The kid in front of us, he was like, ah, he was like screaming and shit. And then uh, we stopped, and, and Derek just goes. Thank you, Dolly. <laughs> Thank you, Dolly. And uh, the, the whole car starts doing it. it was, I think it was awesome. that was Derek's turning point. Yeah. Of he he enjoyed the park. Yeah. But once he got off that, he's like, this park is another echelon. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I, I felt like my soul had left my body mid uh ride. Like it, it was fucking in, <laughs> intense. Sean look, yeah, Sean looked scrambled up. It was great. All of our hair was everywhere. It was it was fucking crazy. And you, it, you know, yeah. Sean has repeatedly asked me how much to go on one of those coasters. Yeah. I, there's no amount it I there's nothing that sounds appealing to me. And he'll keep going and be like, all right, ten thousand bucks. No, fuck no. We've had this conversation before yeah. and I've gotten you up to like a billion before and you said no. <laughs> and I was like, billions yeah, no good if I yeah. hate my life and I want to die. <laughs> like what? For a minute thirty. For a minute of of. And then hell. the rest of the day would suck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just can't see myself even. I would panic the fuck out even just getting on yeah. it. Yeah. I would be so misery. And why? Why life is not worth misery? Like, or, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, there's a certain you know, there's going to be a degree of misery and all kinds of stuff. But I, I wouldn't. I couldn't, I just can't see myself going, yeah. sure. A billion dollars, <laughs> though. Man, that'd be pretty nice. Like, yeah, okay, you go on the ride, and then you have a billion dollars. You could literally buy the coaster and demolish, like, yeah, to you're make like, yourself okay, feel better. Yeah, but I, I already, I, I would, I think I would just, in my mind, I'll die if I go on that. So what good is a billion? <laughs> I can't see the other side of it. Well, Rocco, you'll be fine. That's fine. I can't see that side of it, so a billion does me no good, because I think I'm about to die. I just can't see it. I think I I'd give up it. a limb for a billion dollars. A limb? Yeah. Which a one? A limb for a billion dollars. Yeah. yeah. I think I could do that. I, I just, I to me, I can't put a price on my my body. Because you could buy a fucking robot arm afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Arm's hard because that's, uh, I'm like hardcore gamer and it's kind of yeah. hard to do that. I'm just that's very, true. I don't, you know, I count my blessings. And not, and, you know, plenty of people make it work with, with one arm and, yeah. and that's fine. But I don't know. I like. Yeah. Prosthetics have gone a long way. Yeah. So you could buy as many the nicest prosthetic that like science has created. And they're only going to get better too. Yeah. It's going to hit a point where you're fucking Luke Skywalker. Like you're just yeah. going to yeah. have full Doing range of motion. I'm like, I want to do some phantom pain shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't know. Anyway, yeah. That, somebody said robot, tangent. robot yeah. arm and buy yourself a helper too. That's true. You could hire someone full yeah. time. Oh yeah. If you had a billion, you could just mm-hmm. be like, yo, I don't want to like, uh, I was going to say the, never mind. <laughs> 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 um, all right. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dollywood. You could buy Dollywood for a billion. Yeah. yeah but what, what I, I wouldn't do good with that. No. And that's Dolly's park. Let her like. Yeah. Dolly's doing a perfectly good job. Yeah. She's doing an amazing job. Keep going at it. Anyway. Uh, any other coaster stuff? I went on a small stuff. coaster that yeah. was uh fire related. A lot of fire related yeah. coasters. Um, and it was pretty tame. It. You basically get put in a room full of fireworks, and the and the fireworks start going off. And there's flames and stuff, and they just shoot you backwards. Oh Is it the Fire God. Chaser Express? I think so. Okay, and it's a very tame ride and stuff. Even when they shoot you off, it's it was fun, and it's in the middle of the woods, and I was at night, so you just get to see all like all these giant trees around you. It was a lot. It was there it was, was one I wanted to go on so bad, but no, everyone said was it no. the eagle one. It was the eagle one. What I would that? go on that with you. Hell yeah! Um, was it? We just, I, we never really had the time really. Well, I think we did. It's just everyone said no. No. And I was really? like, okay. It doesn't look that gnarly look to me. It's just you're like sitting in like a baby seat on a Yeah, on a, let me like, let me find a, a photo of it. I sh- think it just looked too weird for everybody, but I would have yeah. gone on that with you. Um yeah, I think I don't remember if it like the seats spun. I don't think they do. Honestly, I don't think they do whatsoever. Uh and um, I think they thought they did. So they Yeah, you're on like an eagle. Oh, you go on that. You go on that. Fuck no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you joking? <laughs> Uh, it's called, uh, uh, well, 
I forgot what it was. That's my favorite thing to Wild hear. Wild Eagle. Ryan. Wild Eagle. That's my favorite thing to hear from people. You would, well, you'd go on you'd that. You'd go on you'd that. You'd do that. Nope. Nope. Yeah, oh, you would. Nope. They would point to the gnarliest roller coaster you've ever seen in your life. You go, well, you'd you'd go on that one, right? No, no, fuck no. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of any other ride stuff. Oh, were, I did want to say, uh, since it was Christmas, halfway through the night, uh, there was like a, a like a central area. Yeah, and all of a sudden, I just hear like the loudest Christmas music. Uh, excuse me, the loudest Christmas music I've ever heard, and then it just starts like. Fake snowing everywhere. Yeah, yes, that was they did up fake in that snow. weird air. Yeah, and I was like, "This is magical." Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but th- uh, multiple theme parks do the fake snow thing. I am a sucker every time. Yeah, yeah. Anytime <laughs> they do it at Disneyland too. And I know you're on Main it, Street. Yeah. It's always like, oh. And I know what it is for real, but like, and I know it doesn't really matter. Snowing. It's yeah. so nice, yeah. and I love it. And yeah, that was such a cool experience. Yeah, we were all just like, "What the fuck is going <laughs> on?" And it's yeah. just like they're blasting this awesome Christmas music and just snowing everywhere. Love that. It love was great. That. Yeah, they also had their own kind of like hanging lights up in the trees. Oh, where, was, where was it was it was up. almost it was almost like the Northern Lights. Yeah, you were walking through this like wooded area, and there's these hanging lights that just look really cool. Well, suddenly, start glowing out yeah. of nowhere, and yeah. they had like weird. Uh, uh, like ambiance and stuff with yeah. music and everything. It wasn't even Christmas music. It was just like yeah. nice low music. I have so really much cool. video of this. I wish I could show it to them. Yeah, I have a ton too. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, it was really, it felt like some avatar shit. It yeah, was great. It did. It was really great. Yeah. Um. Uh. We should talk about guy in the chat just said, uh, talk about digital dolly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> D- digital dolly, double D. Mm. <laughs> no comment. But, uh, Dolly has her own museum. What is, what is it called? My my oh, oh my butterflies or yeah, butterfly? Yeah, it was something like that. I cannot. Can remember. you look up the name of the Dollywood yeah. Museum? Yeah. But um, she has her own museum it was based huge. on yeah. It, it's kind of towards the front. Yeah. Where uh, it's about just her career and all chasing that chasing rainbows, chasing, chasing rainbows, rainbows, of course. Mm-hmm. And Dolly Parton's that w- it that was really cool because they did the whole thing where it's kind of like. Not that impressive, and it's just kind of narrow hallways of of like pictures of her. And it's like, okay, it's okay. Then you go into her attic, and it's full of props from like movies she was in and bands she played with, and all kinds of stuff. And then a hologram of Dolly shows up in the attic. Well, well, Hi, y'all. Doing? Well, how you well, doing, y'all? Yeah. Uh, you know, I just have my stuff in the attic, and the only reason I keep it up here is that maybe you'll see it, and it'll inspire you to do something. Anyway. You could I, my favorite thing that she would say in there. And this cracked me up. Is you could spend as long as you want looking at everything. <laughs> we got plenty of people working here to let you know when we're closing. <laughs> that for some reason that crack like you would like assuming so people would be in there and like you know oh I oh shit I've been in here all day. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, we got plenty of people working family. here to let you know when we're closing. That cracked me up. <laughs> but anyway, she's awesome. And then so she sings to you at the end before turning yep. into a butterfly and flying away. She, yeah, she sings a little I will always love you and then hey, I'm out of here. See ya and turns into a butterfly. <laughs> Digital Dolly turns into a bu- morphs into a butterfly and flies away. My favorite part of that is it, it she could have hammed it up and be like goodbye and then like yeah. turned into a butterfly. She was like goodbye. <laughs> just yeah. like disappeared. <laughs> oh, it was so good. It was so good. Uh the person working there that let me in was like old as fucking time. Oh yeah, I've probably like, been there since the beginning. Dude, this woman looked like she was on death's door. She's like <laughs> You can go in. It's open anytime. And I'm like, cool, thank you. And then uh, she's like, Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm like, thank uh, you. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. So then you go through that attic and then you go through another door or whatever and you are unleashed into the great hall of Dolly yeah. where it's like, okay, here's the impressive part. Yeah. And it's a huge thing and it's got on the walls, it's got all the names of her biggest songs, Code of Many Colors and, and all this stuff. And it's all her famous dresses. Yeah, it's like a wardrobe, and there's so many dresses. Yeah, everywhere. they're all in there. They're all, all in there. If you can think of it, one and she's worn a movie or a music video or a, yeah. anything, it's there. Yeah, uh, and so that was really cool. They, they even like, had a room for her ex husband, right? Like, they yeah, a whole section. She. It's really funny because I, I think I heard that like I think she had a falling out with him, and yeah. like it didn't go well yeah. or something. But she still like credits him as like he he really like was a driving force in my yeah. career and all that. Yeah. So she still is like, hey, <laughs> props. Here's a little shrine to him. Yeah. You know, even though, it, like I said, I don't think if I recall correctly, I don't think it ended well. Yeah. But she's still like, you know, got to give credit where credit is yeah. due. It was like, oh, okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there's a whole thing about that. Um, what was near the end where we were? There was just people talking on a screen. 
Remember, we I filmed a little video of it. Yeah, but yeah. But it was just like it was it was just somebody standing there talking. Yeah, it was I like think three it, screens. I think it was other people maybe that collaborated with her charity or I think something. So. Cause, cause I'm not they sure. Did a whole wing on the uh, book thing she does, where yeah, she, you can sign up to get sent a book like every week or something, something like, like that. Or that. Every she, month. she does a, yeah. a lot of book stuff for yeah, like charity and like she she has a lot of charity stuff. So um, in case you didn't love her enough, she <laughs> just en- has yeah. endless charitable stuff that she yes. does. But um, anyway, so then you go through the whole museum and then that's it. You walk out. What I thought was so funny was that they have a gigantic bus popped out, yep. parked outside of, right the, of the exit, of the, right of the exit, and it's like, is this, is this a part of it? Yeah. What is this? And I, it's so funny because I'm looking at it like, is, is this just a bus or is it an entrance to something bigger? I don't know. Nope. It is literally the tour bus that she always used when she was on tour. Yep. They just have it parked there and you can go in it and look around. That's it. Yeah. And I went in and it's literally just, yeah, that's where she sleeps. That's uh, yeah. She, ha- she made sure there was an, a big enough bathroom that, you know, people had enough room. Dude, you saw Dolly's toilet. Uh, yeah. I saw, I oh. saw where Dolly, you know, <laughs> drops one off. Dude. Where Dolly partons Dolly herself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You have anything to add to that? Um, I got a, a fucking airbrush shirt. Oh yeah, yeah they had airbrush yeah. shirts. Yeah, I uh, people are asking me. I, I, I they had uh, just they had pre-made designs, and one was just fucking Bigfoot, and I was like, all right, <laughs> write, write Mega Strange on it, and, and uh, I was like, all right, cool, that's great. Yeah, so that, people are asking me where I got that. I got a doll. Yeah, oh, that's that awesome. shirt is awesome. Jay got <laughs> one too, and yeah, he, once you got one, he was like, I, I gotta get one. I yeah, get he one. saw yours, and he, I, he, he spoke to me. He was just like. I mean, an airbrush shirt like that, that's what you buy at Dollywood. <laughs> yeah. That's he, what you buy. He was so impressed. He's like, that's what you get. That's yeah, how you get. And that's how like, you do okay, it. I got to get, what What should I get? What, yeah. Should I get this? It just says Dollywood on it. Yeah. Like, oh, he was so stoked. About uh, that. Yeah. So that was, that, oh, that was so great. Um, speaking of, I just want to say, speaking of celebrity shitting, um, <laughs> we did, remember we toured Walt Disney's apartment on Main Street. Yes. We I got, saw. Kevin and I have been in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we got to see, they legitimately were like, hey, Here's his bathroom because they want what they wanted to show was Walt even back then had an innovative shower. It was like, yeah, that one, not good enough. He had three shower heads. Boom. Yep. There's a lower one. There's this one. There's that one. Shit. So he had like a mm-hmm. sur- fucking surround sound shower, surround sound, you know, <laughs> surround shower. And and then I think literally as they stepped away, I think either you or I yeah. said it was like, dude, this is where Walt shits. <laughs> like we saw his toilet. Like <laughs> he probably was sitting here thinking, oh, carousel progress. What if the. What if the audience went around? Some of the best ideas have been on the toilet. Seriously, so, like who 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 knows what he thought up? Seriously, on the definitely. Like in that shower, he's probably smoking a cigarette. Yeah, like, getting hit with like yeah. Guarantee he smoked typhoon. a cigarette in yeah. there for sure. <laughs> it was like Mickey Mouse. No, was, that was way earlier. <laughs> he was drinking a beer in there like Masato, yeah, just he, like yeah, he has a shower, go, a shower go, beer. Go, 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 country bears. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so we saw that. Now we saw Dolly's uh, yeah. own setup. We, the What's whole, next? We got to add it to like our shitter collection. Just yeah. <laughs> so where have we seen? So cele- I'm trying to think if I've ever seen other places of celebrity shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. What museums? Like, there's got to be like museums of people's houses that you've been. Yeah. To. But what yeah. if I know? I never went to Graceland. When we went to like Philly, maybe there was like a. So we're Rocky shit. Yeah, a Colonial House or something. I don't know. Well, we went to Third Man Records. And yeah, we saw where Jack White must, shit. Must oh, shit oh, they're, they, they're at, we went to their vi- where they produce their vinyl and record albums. Yeah, record and press. I guarantee Jack White is shit in there. And I guarantee, and probably Meg White for that <laughs> yeah. matter. And there's been other famous, uh, Neil Hamburger is recorded yeah. there. Dude. So he probably, no, he did it at the other location though in Nashville. Oh, we were yeah. in, we were at Cass Corridor in Detroit, but there's still been other huge bands there. The ra- All the tours have definitely shit there. If you're a fan of them, <laughs> when uh, that, when that one theater, uh, their green room was gone, and they let us go into the really famous one in, in Texas. Oh yeah, I'm sure like every fucking oh every person because th- yeah that was in yeah. Austin. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure every single famous person who's gone there has taken. Dude, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, other uh, big theaters that uh, no, 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 no. What was oh there was a big one. We did one where it's like, oh, a ton of, oh, uh, in New York, we did the UCB theater. Oh, yeah. Where like all the SNL people got like yeah. cast. That was yeah. the original UCB theater yeah. before yeah. it moved. So that was the like OG one that, yeah. that all the famous people. That's were where in. like Donald Glover came up in. Donald, like, Donald Glover, Glover shit there. Yeah. Amy Poehler shit there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, all the UCB people. Uh, uh, I love it. Uh, Will Forte probably took a took a <laughs> t- ripped one there. Was it like um, something Walsh? Uh, Matt, Matt Walsh. Walsh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt Walsh. Walsh. Is Matt Walsh or John? Walsh? I crack up that there was a picture of Rick Moranis just in there, and we were just holding it up like. <laughs> yeah, why was that <laughs> in there? My favorite photo on Instagram. It's, it's Check Rick out my Moranis Instagram. It's on in, there. In the Honey I Shrunk the Audience. Yeah. Get up. It's, I mean, Honey I Shrunk the Audience. It's the kids' audience. Yeah. Get up. And yeah, we're just like holding it up. It's yeah. just in there. It's funny. Yo, any day now they're gonna announce they're they're working on a new Honey I Shrunk the Audience. Uh, oh yeah, kid. yeah. Honey I Shrunk the Kid movie. I think it's just called Shrunk. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm down. Doesn't matter if it's got which that's name. Disney's thing by the way. Now is they just name things. It's you know Frozen. And at one point they were gonna do an animated movie called Giant. It was about Jack and the Beanstalk, yeah. uh, but it got canceled. But that uh, anyway, Shrunk. That's all it's gonna be. Cool. I'm telling you, when that movie gets announced, fucking put. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the audience back in Tomorrowland. You have to. It's empty. That's that's easy money. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I agree. So I, I think they'll, they'll do it. They'll do it. One thing I didn't see at Dollywood Tangled, that, I, yeah. that I wish I had, what? but I don't know if you saw it, um, but they have a uh, recreation of her home in Tennessee when she was a kid. Oh. That's what I heard. It's yeah. somewhere in there. Yeah. I just never saw it, but it's, yeah, it's, this is just the recreation of her childhood Tennessee home. Yeah. And I never went in. I never saw it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else I did at Dollywood. I really can't. They, it was such a blur. They also yeah. have a full functioning church open on Sundays. Yeah. On Sundays, you can actually attend mass. You can get married there and everything. <laughs> yeah. All this stuff. Yeah. That's wicked. Dude, I I would totally get married at Do- in the Dollywood yeah. church. Oh, my gosh. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so whoever's out there, looking, you're looking for a husband quick. Yo, hit us up. I, 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 I don't us, know if I'm feeling that, but one of these guys will do cinnamon it. Cinnamon bread. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be fun just to just to do it. You don't have to hang around with them or anything, you know, just to get the experience. I feel like we made the best of t- our time there. Yeah, oh, like yeah. we didn't write everything, but yeah. we did nonstop fun shit the whole time we were there. Yeah, yeah, we we maximized our day yeah. for sure. Uh, and uh, and I'm so glad we did. We got there early and just barged barged it. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad we did. Yeah. Uh, it really was. Like I said, an authentic experience of like you really it's one of those things that when you're there, you go like, oh, there are other again, we get so used to California and and also like East Coast. Yeah, yeah. New, you know, whatever, New York and wherever you get used to those places and you forget there really are other worlds in just this country. Yeah. If you go to Dollywood and it's like, wow. Where are we? This I is mean, nothing, it is. You couldn't find anything like this in California. No. Yeah, uh, you know, or New York. It's yeah. just really unlike anything. And yeah. I, I'm so, so, so glad we did it. That was the highlight of, other than doing the shows on the tour, yeah. which is a life highlight. We, we started, that was the biggest highlight. We started talking about Dollywood like early on in the tour. Like, yeah, if we could make that happen, and and then like Jay would be like working out the route and everything like that. Yeah, and he's like, I think I think we can. Yeah, and we're like, okay, let's let's do it. And we like got yeah. tickets and everything. Oh, I'm so glad we made that work. Yeah. It was really like yeah. special and really, really cool. Um yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they I did, really can't remember much. They do fireworks. Didn't they did they do fireworks? I didn't I see any remember. fireworks when we went. I think they do do fireworks, but yeah. I didn't see any. That's what I thought too. Yeah, there wasn't like a lot of like like we just went from ride to ride. We ate and that was about it. I remember we just hung, we just like walked around a bunch. And we just took in the yeah. the, the sights. Yeah, we just did took like in the scenery around and all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, people asking in the chat, how are the restrooms? Uh, I didn't really check them. You out. know I what? Them once. Fine, fun. just fine. But we had just gone to Bucky's. Oh yeah. So the bar had already been raised. Yeah. Yeah, the bar was unfortunately so high, no one's ever matching that again. What's the the great? I mean, I was about to say rank the restrooms. What are the greatest restrooms you've ever been to, whether it be a theme park or wherever? But to me, Bucky's. Yeah, that's the cleanest. Nicest, that's it. Like it's the biggest bathroom. Clean, ever been cleaned in. every five minutes. Damn yeah. it! And so big, and you get your own kind of space. It's like, yo, there's a lot of room here, so you don't need to be near me. Go over there. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. I know Absolutely. Garrett would love to hang out there. <laughs> you know, big bathroom. Um, I'm really racking my brain trying to remember Dollywood shit. I almost want to like look through my pictures. We, you guys it. bought yeah. some uh, like gift shop stuff and things like that. I bought a lot of Dollywood att- apparel yeah. because I just wanted, again, wasn't going to get that 
Wasn't going to get that anywhere else. I bought my girlfriend a knife. So oh, yeah, I remember that, that. That, that. That could show you the vibe of Dollywood that I was able to buy <laughs> get a knife. Uh, should have bought a gun. Yeah. That would have been nice. <laughs> At Knott's, you could buy like crazy knives, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, they have a lot of knives. That's always fucking... But, I think that you have to pick them up outside the gate. Yeah, I think they, uh, right. they hold them for you. You pick them up at the yeah. like information area outside. Whereas Dollywood is like here. Yeah, whatever. Hand it over. <laughs> yeah, that train ride was uh, somebody to answer someone in the chat. Uh, train ride was peaceful. It, that was that was I will say my most zen moment of the whole tour was just riding through that train, going through the Smoky Mountains and just taking in. It was like this. It couldn't have been better because you know the bread took a long time. I was like, oh man. But it it made it so that it was sun sundown. Yeah, and so the sun was setting as I was on the train, and oh, over, sun setting over the red leaves and the on the Smoky <laughs> Mountains. It was like doesn't get any better than no. this. It really doesn't, and it smells like fall going into winter. It was chilly out, and, so it's like that. So, the air is cold. When so, you're breathing yeah, in, and you so just nice. breathe in, and soot just chokes you. Just <laughs> oh, you know, that's that's that's. The holidays to me. That's Dollywood to me. That's yeah. my most peaceful memory of the tour. It was so uh, nice a, a moment away from these assholes. You know, I needed <laughs> I needed one, and I got one. Um, was there ever a point on the tour? Be real, where it was like, oh man, give me a moment to myself, or do you not I, care? Yes. I don't yes, really get that that much. But oh, really? go ahead. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember. There's just one day in the the van where I had AirPods in the whole time. Oh, and like. I, I just thought I could, you really like music. I could vaguely hear someone like calling me and I just wouldn't respond. I just need like, <laughs> I, I'm, uh, it's nothing. No one, uh, it's no. Not, no one did anything to me. It was like, I just am very introverted and I, yeah. there's, uh, I, I hit a wall sometimes when I'm like doing a lot where I'm like, Oh, I just need some alone time. And I was really yeah, good I at like pushing it aside, like eh, fight through it. But then there's just one day where it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And I was like, all right, fuck y'all. Yeah. I just, yeah. I just checked, <laughs> no, out. checked out. And no, I felt great afterwards. It's, it's weird. You know, it's going to sound weird, but I, I feel like in a lot of ways, I'm just, I, I know this is going to sound like, shut, shut up, you douche. <laughs> but I feel like an introvert who just knows how to fucking push through, mm. and that's how I'm able to do stuff <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there it, it every now and then it catches up to me where it's like, I got to yeah. not be around you for a little bit. And it's never because you're a dick or you're uh, I'm so fucking sick of these guys. It's not anything personal. It's just like a lot of exposure and I just need to yeah, I take, love a, being alone. take a day. Oh, like, yeah. It's great. And it's so funny because when we were at Dollywood and you broke off to go do the thing, other people in the group were all like, oh, well, we got to wait up for like we're yeah. going to meet up with Rocco. Yeah. And it's like, you, dude. I'm sure he's good. Yeah, like that. That he happens. is good. Yeah, like uh, I I feel the same way. I could yeah. just go off into a park alone and yep. be totally fine. Yeah. So yeah, that, don't worry. We're about similar it. in that way. Yeah. Uh, that happens anytime I go to Disneyland with a group of friends. Yeah. Or like, hey, a big group is going to go on Saturday. It's always like, hey, we're all going on Space Mountain. Cool. And I'll and I'll be like, message me when you get off. Yeah. And they're like, no, we can't yeah, abandon you. Let's we'll go on um we'll go on Peter Pan instead. And it's like, no, I I welcome having a moment to myself, yeah. walking around Tomorrowland, looking in the shops, you know, sitting yeah. on the bench, taking in the atmosphere. And Dollywood oh, perfect, I love that. Oh, Dollywood, Dollywood's a perfect. It was part. scenic. It was. I could have. Yeah. I could have walked for eight hours by myself through that and yeah. loved it. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. I like I like doing stuff with all my friends yeah. and all that. But give me a moment and I'm fine, you know. Uh, but yeah, on the tour, I uh, I didn't have that on the van necessarily. I was asleep so much on the van it didn't matter. I was so jealous that I you were was, able to pass out. Any t I really that was I knew I could fall asleep anywhere. I already knew that, and I fall asleep on vehicles. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how bad it was until this tour, and because I always thought like, yeah, you know, whenever I'm tired, I'll I'll go to sleep. No, I couldn't even. I couldn't get shit done. I was yeah. like, oh, oh, we got a seven hour drive, so I'll, I'll uh, type this thing up on my phone. I'll no, I couldn't. I would, the van would go and it would be and like, it, and it would mess you up because you had slept for like six or seven hours. Yeah. And then we get to the place and you wouldn't be tired at night. Yeah. Like, we get to the hotel. All right. Meet in the morning. And it's like, I, I slept I'm, all day. I, I, sl I slept <laughs> literally from noon to 7 p.m. <laughs> like, I, I don't want to go to bed. So I'd be up like on my fucking computer, yeah. you know. No, but I didn't, I didn't have stuff. that. I, I enjoyed all my time in the van. Yeah. Uh, I just, I look out the window and soak in whatever's going on out there. Yeah. I always do that. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I had a point. I, I was fine the whole tour. I, I really liked it's, it's different than my day to day norm. So yeah. I, yeah. I embrace being in a van with a bunch of dudes 
going here or there, or whatever. So I embrace that being different. But yeah, I when we I think it was when we got to Texas, which was the end of the tour. Yeah, we got into Texas and it was like, yeah, we're all going out to this bar. I was like, nope. And I went back to the hotel. I thought yeah. you came out with us. <laughs> not the not, not the first night. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. everyone everyone who lives in Texas that we know there was like, is everything okay? You didn't come out. I'm like, <laughs> I couldn't go to a bar. I just couldn't do it. It's I just all blur I couldn't for me. do it. I don't yeah, even remember. Oh, I kind of remember that. Yeah, I was just not. I was the like, the second night was crazy. Nope. <laughs> uh, we were we were all celebrating, and like I feel like all of us were really tired. Yeah, and I personally wasn't drinking too hard, but like yeah. I think Jay got a little uh, toasted, mm. and I'll I will I'll never forget this. My like I'll, I'll I'll die remembering this memory. I'm eating food, <laughs> and Jay came over. He's like, you eating that sandwich? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah no, yeah, I don't know. And he's like, cool. And I'm holding it, and he's like, <laughs> he, he he came over and just. He just bit, took a bit bite. My sandwich. I was ah! like, okay. I was like, here, you could have it. He's like, are you sure? I'm like, you bit into it. Yep. Yeah. You, yeah. You bit into and then it. it was, and then it sank in because yeah. then he was like, he feels bad. I should not have taken a bite of your sandwich. That <laughs> was wrong. Me. He's like, I love and you, Johnny. It, I'm like, and it worked out because, I, I, yeah, <laughs> you might have been a little, I, I think you would. I think everyone was, I don't know. I, I wasn't mad at all. It was oh, no, 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 like, no. I'm <laughs> saying like, I think you drank a little, right? Oh, yeah. Just like, yeah. Oh. So you were, I mean, you weren't, like, oh, he's drunk or anything, nothing no, no. like that, but you were, you were feeling good. And I think it was, you weren't, I think you weren't going to have much of the second half yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't care. Yeah. But to everyone else, I watched that happen too. And I'm like, oh, fight. Here comes a fight. There's yeah. going to be. I would be pissed. <laughs> right. If, if, if somebody at like, if I was eating a sandwich and somebody yeah. just went, hey. <laughs> yeah. I would be like, fuck but, off. But the, fuck but you. I really think the context was just right. Yeah. Where Johnny was feeling good. Didn't really want the second half of the sandwich, yeah. and he did it, and it was like, well, you could have the rest, okay, dude. That and then he felt really bad, yeah. but it was like, no, I already was yeah, like it was, done it with it. Totally no, I, I don't remember this. Was I there? Yeah. Okay, I was. was. The, the bologna sandwich place. I was yes. gonna say that sandwich was fucking awesome. That place I don't was fu- dude. Like, oh. I've all I already this is a bar in I, Dallas. I already love fried bologna and cheese sandwiches already. And then I just I went there and they happened to make the best one I've ever had in my fucking life. Dude, I people asked me to like rank the best meals I had on the trip. My two favorites were the the awesome Chinese places we went. Yeah. Oh, in San Francisco. Uh, yeah. Well, well, the one, Francisco. one in New York and San Francisco. Oh, yeah. Both amazing Fantastic. Chinese. B- mind-blowing Chinese food. Yeah. That was two. Um and then I had oh, I can't remember the third. I think the third was maybe the Detroit pizza. Yeah. Was really phenomenal. White Castle. And then my fourth <laughs> one. No, I I agree White Castle was yeah. amazing, but my fourth one was that fucking bologna sandwich. That was so good. I was like, guys, late at night after a show, and this bar grills bologna with some caramelized onions. It was like homemade bologna. Cheese. It was like thick. It wasn't just like yeah. this Oscar Mayer stuff you peel off but and throw on For there. some reason, late at night, uh, nothing ever hit the spot better yeah. than that. I, why is why can why does why did that hit so good? I don't know. It was the middle of the night. I had a giant ass Coke and a fried bologna and cheese sandwich. Yeah. And it was in, Heaven. It yep. was like, ha ha, yeah. I'm not really that hungry, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm in heaven right now. Anyway. It was like, uh, there were no other seats. It was only like the bar. Yeah. Uh, and it looked like throwback to like the 50s. Yeah, the bar looked. By the way, the bar it was fairly new, but it was throwback. It looked like Cars Bart. Land. Yeah. yeah. It looked. It looked like, like uh, the the diner in Cars yeah. Land. They yeah. were like, do you want a beer? I'm like, yeah, sure. This woman pulled out a fucking chilled glass. And yeah. poured me a fucking Homer Simpson fucking. Beer. It really did. I it looked like, like a cartoon. What? And she's yeah. like, "Yeah, we got fried bologna sandwiches." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah. all right." Yeah. So I was fucking. I was so happy. Oh, that was amazing. Was I so wish good. I could remember the name of that place. Yeah. Gonna, I don't know it either. Oh. It was just whatever was close. Yeah, we just ran. We went to a bar and then we walked to this other place and it happened to have bologna. We're gonna sandwiches. have to map it, like map that venue and and t- retrace our yeah, steps because we walked from one to the other. <laughs> This yeah, might, I'm like I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll find it. Yeah. yeah, this might shock you, but also had I know because we're in Texas. This might really stun you. I had some I fucking it. bomb barbecue that night. Oh yeah, we went to like black black uh, black hole. I don't know what it was called. Black hole black um, black anus. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. Uh, but it was it like was so oh good. fall off the bone ribs uh, brisket that would just melt in your mouth. Oh my god! Johnny, I had that after the show had yeah. started because we did the merch. I was yeah. so happy, and it was so nice because that was the last venue of the of the tour. Yeah, and we did our merch outside, and yeah. it was so nice because we just sat outside on a bench and ate delicious barbecue. Yeah, and it was like this is such a good ending to this. You couldn't ask for a better ending. Yeah. Until uh, the baloney. If yeah. you're in you're in Dallas, it's a Thunderbird station. Yes. Oh, that's what it was. It. Uh check it out. 
Uh, awesome bologna and cheese sandwiches, fried bologna. That sandwiches. was the, that wasn't the first bar we went to. Didn't no, I, I'm, no, I'm looking. The at first it. one we went to, we took that photo in that we uh, like, uh, right? And that's uh, that was yeah, a block that, away. Yeah, that looks like it. I think yeah. that's it. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know they fucking chili cheese dogs. Oh my god, it was but. amazing. But yeah, that what, that bologna sandwich. Why was it that good? And then yeah, runner up, my favorite meal other than those I mentioned. I have to say, when we couldn't find food wherever we were, Detroit. The I don't middle remember. Middle of the night, it everything was, Detroit, was closed. Yeah. Even White Castles were closed. It was yeah. twenty-four hour White Castles shut down. And we found out there was just one that yeah. that stayed tw- oh, twenty-four hours. And we hours. cleared them out. We seriously <laughs> rolled up. And it was like, yeah, we're going to need like fucking 60 burgers. Yeah, we got so many sliders. And they're like, are you sure you want that? Yeah. I was like, yeah. Because yeah. it was a I had to convince y'all. What first. do they call it? The Crave Crate or the something? Crave Case. What? Crave Case. Hey, Johnny, you saved the day. Because everybody's <laughs> going to order their own little like, yeah. I want a number one. And, and I was it, like, y'all, you're not yeah. doing this right. <laughs> yeah. Johnny's like, we should get some Crave Cases. And we're yeah. like, yes, let's do that. And then we just, I think once that broke the ice, even everybody was on board of yeah. just like, oh yeah, get some chicken rings. Yeah, what yeah. are those? And, and <laughs> yeah. like, we just load up all this weird stuff. And then, yeah, it was like, oh. well, the, wait, there's a fish slider. Get it? Yep. Yeah. Get wait, it. they have Impossible sliders now. Get, yeah, get, get some. That in there. All right, yeah. And we took that all back to the hotel lobby and, and took ate, over the lobby. Took over the lobby, <laughs> ate so many sliders, and that was like so fucking good. I, yeah. I think us three are the only people that. Enjoyed it on this upper echelon. Area. Yeah, it was amazing. It was so good. Yeah, everyone else was just like, yeah, fast food, uh, and we were just like, this is amazing. This is so we have fun. a, this is a White Castle buffet. For some reason, for some reason, the White Castle sliders are such a comfort food to yep. me because we used to have them here. We we, we don't, don't have a White a Castle. We have them frozen. frozen. Yeah. yeah, but they were they were like a comfort food as a kid for I some reason. Grew up on those. Yeah, so it was nice to have some fresh the, ones. Yeah, the ones at the place are just better made versions of those yep. same burgers and they have pickles on them Ooh. so yeah it's great i got to do my favorite thing where you eat a bunch of them and then you make a little castle like you put the little yeah you, oh. kept, you kept like you like, stack like them stacking them up and stuff like that yeah you yeah. make a little castle <laughs> oh yeah it was so good it was awesome yeah everything about the those was great yeah i would love to talk about tombstone arizona but i don't know if that's yeah. we do that yeah. later or, or yeah i mean i wonder if that should I can't, be its own i can fill a whole episode of tombstone arizona well, hey, let's do an episode about Tombstone. Let's record it at the bird birdcage at Knots. Yeah, we'll record we it there. Do that because the, <laughs> and compare and contrast. We didn't even know that. Yeah. like we walked up, we're like, "This is the original Bird's Cage Theater." Yeah, like I'd only we, seen the one at that Knots. Knots. We should do that. Yeah. That's the only building that didn't burn down in yep. that fire. That's yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. Some had been rest- had been partially rebuilt, and some were just brand new. Yeah, but that was the one that had been original. Yeah, long ago. We should do that. Let's do a. Uh, uh, Tombstone, Arizona, yeah. from the Birdcage. Yeah, there was a a, a a great store full of Let's Go Brandon flags. We could talk about that. That was that'd awesome. be an hour in, in and of itself. <laughs> I got a so, cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah, lots of uh, great, great yeah. flags to be bought there. Uh, I always love somebody in the chat. First time chatter, uh, Delta sixteen sixty four says White Castle or Crystals. What's Crystals? I no, love crystals. that. Anytime there's a fast food discussion, people always throw out a name that you've never heard. Yeah. No matter what. Hey, did you guys all go to uh, Pismo? I, well, I don't know what that is. Oh, you didn't go to Pismo? You, no. Uh, no. Yeah, so we, you know, people are always like, oh, go to Culver's, go to Culver's. And then you'll find they're like, okay, I went to Culver's. Yeah, but did you stop by Jasper's next door? Yeah. No. You didn't go to Jasper's. Oh, my God. There's did always you go to something. Stewart's? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you go to uh, uh, Little Wiggle? Yeah. No, I didn't go there. Go you didn't go to Little Wiggles. Oh, you, they have the best uh, pickle shakes. Are there Stewart's around here or is that only a. Uh, again, uh, I've, never heard. It's it's a, I've heard of that. It's I, the root beer company. Yeah. Oh, I've heard of the root beer company. Do yeah. they have burgers? Yeah, uh, they do burgers. But and W did that here for yeah, a bit. It's, it's exactly yeah. like A&W. Okay. That their big uh, claim to fame is like uh, root beer floats and stuff. Okay. Oh. Uh, awesome. I love Stewart's. You yeah. know what sounds good? You know what we should have got? Freddy's. Oh, uh, I know. Johnny yeah. didn't want to. I want to diet. Yeah, Johnny didn't. But they, I'm telling you, they have diet custard, dude. <laughs> they do. I heard, I heard ice cream is basically diet yeah. custard. Yeah. Johnny, so just get ice honestly, cream. Like Johnny, do, I gotta get in your shake, day for you. Getting a so shake much. is Diet Freddy's. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> like, I feel like not getting a shake is Diet Freddy's. <laughs> no, you're, you're thinking you don't get too it. hard into that. You don't get. Just this. go to. Let's go to In and Out. Get a Neapolitan shake. Yeah. But uh, Johnny, just get vanilla. Oh yeah. That way it doesn't have the two other shakes in the <laughs> in there. Yeah, I'd like a Neapolitan shake, just vanilla, please. Yeah, just vanilla. <laughs> hold the uh, hold the chocolate. Hold the strawberry. The Trying to watch the figure. Trying to lose oh. some of the weight. <laughs> Can you do a shake that's half vanilla shake, half 
Dude, Diet Coke. Sorry, you just reminded me. I I bought uh, a bunch of Tenacious D stuff for the 20th anniversary of that album. Yeah. yeah. Album, and it was like, get a signed post, a signed original gig post. I was like, hell yeah. I got it. it it's literally a printed out picture <laughs> of what? the poster. It's this small. What? Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> it, it, it is signed by both of them, which is cool. Okay, that's, that's cool. That's worth it. But like. My man is fucking. It was like it's printer paper. You can't do like, on eleven fuck? by seventeen. Like, uh, yeah, um, that's whack. Anyway, yo, Jack, Jack yeah, Black, Jack. that's whack. Come on, come on, Jack. Uh, anyway. A lot of people have been having merch issues though, so maybe they ran into a problem. I know been. with our with our Patreon stuff, we we've been waiting for this anime vinyl yeah. forever. Just you all know, so up. All all kinds of stuff is messed up, but that's okay. We're yeah. gonna get through it. We're gonna be. We're gonna do it. It's fine. Fuck around and go to Hamburger Heaven. Hand, oh, they, they, someone is drunk in the chat. Okay, oh, I thought they yeah. were suggesting someone. Have you ever had Hoss's Steakhouse? I want to no. believe that's made up. <laughs> I want to believe. There's got to be a place called Steak King. In, yeah, in America. can someone find a place called Steak there King? Because be I want to eat there. I, there is. I have to eat at a restaurant called Steak King. Why? Because of the CKY. Oh, like, yeah. oh, hey, y'all funny. got Steak King? Steak King. I think Steak King's real. I've seen a Steak King before. <laughs> uh, real quick, real quick. Look that up. Well, I'm so glad we could talk about this because I think we're all going to say the same thing. What was the worst meal we had on the tour? Ooh. Tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. We went to an authentic Cuban restaurant. <laughs> oh, authentic Cuban restaurant. Give me the Cuban, the Cub the Cubano. Yeah, Give me the, the Cuban, Cuban sandwich. sandwich. Give me. I'm, I'm down. Most boring fucking sandwich it's I had the entire tour. Bland as hell. I've had Cubanos in so many places in LA, all over the country that are like, oh my God, this is the best sandwich I've ever had. And at that place, it was like, here's a... Here's a piece of bread and um, hey, here's a, a tomato and a, um, yeah, it was it's a just a piece bummer. of ham that we. I mean, it was like guys, you 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 had this, you yeah. you let me down. I looked at other people's meals and they looked pretty good, but yeah. the Cub Cubano yeah, but was terrible. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Where were we? Were we in Florida? Yeah. No, uh, we I were, think we were in Florida. Yeah, we were. We were in Florida. Yeah, because you we see to, what I mean. We went to two shows in Florida. When we went this there, was, I was like, "We're oh, we're in good shape. We are set." Yeah. Now, was it Cuban food we ate the first night? Because that was amazing. Um, remember we went that little place and they had like fried plantain. Oh, what was like that? I don't that was, remember. Wasn't that like Malaysian food or something? I don't. I don't know. It was right near the hotel in, yeah. or, in Orlando. And I cannot remember oh, the name of it. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. it was, it was the was first that, place I thought we it was ate Malaysian in the entire tour. Yeah, fuck. Or Polynesian. No. It was something like that. Oh, I it was so it, good. it rolled. It was, it was, it was really awesome. Good. Yeah, it was great. Every meal pretty much on tour, I you know, other than like, yo, yeah. we're in a hurry, eat some jerky or you know, sheets or something. But uh, I liked everything except that Cuban sandwich was like, was guys, what happened here? And to their credit, it was cheap. So yeah. maybe that's what they were going for. Is like, hey, some people just want a two dollar sandwich. Yeah. That's fine. But it was like, guys, what? And I've had I've had them at food trucks in L.A. that were like, this is the best thing I've ever eaten. Like, uh, it's so good. Can I give a little suggestion? If you're in New York City, you live in New York on Ludlow or near Ludlow, there's a Cuban place. Get a Cuban sandwich from there. That okay. is like my yeah. favorite fucking Cuban sandwich in the whole city. Anyway, uh, oh, what were you? Saying? No, go go. For I was it. just gonna say on the subject of cheap food. I will say uh, something that was really funny is when we ate at a place called Eats, I think, in, in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. That place they was awesome. Amazing food. And yeah. that place was cheap as hell. Yeah. Everyone had a big ass meal and it was like, yeah, it came to like $26. Yeah, it was like it was nothing. There were a bunch of people. <laughs> for, a, for a fucking van full of hungry dudes. Yeah. 26 bucks. But anyway, uh, they, they had jerk chicken. They had, I didn't even have any of the chicken or any of the, what, any other kind of, uh, you know, they had kind of, was it? What would you call it? Cajun-y kind of food? Yeah, they had, like, I don't know. Different chickens and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah I didn't good. even have any of that. They had broccoli casserole. Ooh, oh my god, it. ten out of ten. But then I had I had broccoli casserole and some cornbread, and it was not good cornbread. I was like, yeah, I've, I've definitely had better cornbread. And then uh, Jay, our tour manager, was like, you know what, Rocco? This is the kind of situation where you actually you look at what you paid. You can't really complain. And I looked, yeah. and the cornbread was like. 50 cents <laughs> like it wasn't even a dollar yeah. it was 50 cents for a big thing of cornbread he's like i feel like for half of a dollar you can't really complain about that <laughs> yeah. cornbread i was like no that's a good point you got me on that so yeah. in that case it justified itself uh when we were in new york uh we were staying in a part of brooklyn i wish i could remember the fucking name of it but uh we stayed in probably the most hellish hotel i've ever been in, in it was so tiny yeah that fucking, was kind of bad but Outside, like in the morning, we all kind of 
because our flight was until like midday. So we all kind of did our own thing. Me and Derek walked outside and I was like, oh, there's a fucking there's a, a bagel place right here. And he was like, oh, OK, cool. Like we, we both just assumed it would be shitty. And I was like blown away. Like, I I haven't had a New York bagel in so long. I was I bit into it. I was like, oh my god, I missed this. Oh, and Derek yeah. was kind of like, holy shit, why is this good? Like it was yeah. just a legit bagel. Yeah, it was just we're some shitty place. place. <laughs> they were used to like Sara Lee in the those two bag, like, yeah, tossing the toast yeah. oven. It was fucking oh. awesome, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the dudes at Screenwave took me in Philly took oh, me to a, yeah. a legit Philly bagel place, dude. And it was like, yeah, whatever, I'll get it. Oh, they make it like a sandwich out of cream cheese and lox. Yeah, fine. Oh. It. And it was it. like. Uh, again, light touching the death note. <laughs> They're like, Rocco, so do you want to film over here? <laughs> Rocco, are you there? Um, it was uh, like yeah. transportive. Oh, I cracked so up good. that. Um, I, and I'm glad we all noticed this once it happened in the movie. But when we went to uh, the um, uh, uh, the Chinese food restaurant in, in San Francisco, I forgot what it's something. Uh, 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 House, of Na- House, House of Nan King. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. seeing it in the Matrix and everybody go, Dude, he fucking sits where we <laughs> sat. He sat and, and yeah, and he, eats he sits noodles there right there. Dude. Yeah. He seriously it was almost the same spot. Mm-hmm. It really was. It was like how did we predict how did we know Neo would be here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm connected. I'm telling you, we're both connected to the source. And I cracked up because when Jay when we told Jay where we were eating and he's like, "Oh yeah." And uh he said, "That's one of the places where you let them order." And I'm like, "What are you talking like that's kind of weird yeah. and stuff like that." But we ordered and we're like, yeah, can we have this? And we're like, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the waiter was like, no. no, you want this. No. You don't and want he that. flipped it over. You want this. And it's like, yeah. okay. And it was great. I think it was the green bean thing. Yeah. And it was so good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the dude. green bean thing. Yeah. Someone in chat's talking about Amish pretzels. You ever had those? No. Oh, bro. Next time you're on the East Coast. That's well, they don't use any technology. I don't know what the fuck that they're doing and the Amish fucks are doing, but they make the best pretzels. <laughs> are, it's like giant soft pretzels. Oh, bro. Ooh, I, I was going to say, don't pretzels. insult the Amish, but they're not watching. No, nah, they make some fucking <laughs> like they, they like uh, do like little farmers markets on the weekend. You guys fucking pretzels. Really? Oh, bro. Wow. It's so good. Uh, I was watching this this <laughs> this uh, YouTube video where the Amish are like, yeah, we hit uh, uh, herd immunity already. And they're like, what? It's like, yeah, we all got COVID. And we, uh, wow. We're not getting the vaccine. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, yeah, we all got it. So we're fine. Damn. <laughs> wow. Anyway. Uh, 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 I was just going to say, uh, somebody asked, who had to take the most pee breaks on tour? I would Garrett? say Garrett, because he's drinking coffee all the yeah. time. Oh, can you talk about coffee soup or whatever? Okay. Garrett, the primordial <laughs> Garrett, <ooze>. Garrett has, <laughs> um, <laughs> Garrett has a coffee mug. That it's like a thermos. Yeah. It's like a thermos. Yeah. yeah, it's it's one of those that has a screw on top. <laughs> that he will get a coffee. He'll go buy a coffee and pour it into this yeah thermos. It is never empty. Never empty. It always has a little bit from the last one. And I told Garrett it's like a sourdough. It is just constantly using the next. <laughs> he probably has coffee from he's got, five years he's ago. He's got the mother coffee. He's got the mother <laughs> coffee, and he keeps adding to it. Mother, and it's cream and stuff. Mother and brew. Yeah. So it's just constantly adding to this. I think the entire tour, he constantly added to this one coffee. Yeah. He was drinking the whole time. Yes. Primordial ooze, dude. Yep. <laughs> so I would say him, over the world. him or Sean. Yeah. Him or Sean. Yeah. I can go a long, too, long yeah. time without peeing. Yeah, I peeing. can. I can as well. I, I've told people this fact. And I've gotten some looks, but I did not get up once when I flew to New Zealand because people were like, oh, you know, you probably don't. Yeah, why do you like the window seat? Because you're going to have to get up and you're going to. No, nope. I went I New Zealand, went to sleep, slept most of the flight, got up in New Zealand. And everyone's like, no way. You got up at some point. It's like, no, I really I don't drink a lot of water before a flight. I just don't. If I need to drink something, I'll have like a juice or something. Yeah. But, you know, you don't have to piss right away yeah, when you drink a juice. And the ones they give you aren't the biggest things yeah. in the world. They're but just I, these little things. But also, I didn't drink when they brought drinks by on the flight. Yeah. I didn't do it. I was like, nah, I'm good. This is why and I just I, don't ever get up. I don't drink alcohol on planes ever. Yeah. I, pee. I don't want to ever go to the bathroom. Yeah. Even when I... I'm sick of all this well, peeing stuff. I peed when I went to Japan because you're on the fucking flight for 12 hours. Or yeah. Like, Sometimes you, I just want to stretch my legs yeah, and I'll do it. Yeah. But, but yeah. No, what were you saying? Uh, no, that was it. I oh. just, I don't drink. Oh, one time I did drink on a flight, and I thought I was gonna die. Uh, I felt like my head was gonna explode. Everyone's always like, "Oh, it's fun to get drunk on the flight," and you know, like you drink one, it's like two on mm. the ground. I'm like, "Ha ha!" I had one drink, I was like, 
I need yeah. to get off the plane. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want that. Yeah, it's not, it's not a good time. Anyway, Dollywood. Dollywood. Did they serve alcohol at Dollywood? I didn't see. I think they did. I don't know if they do. I think alcohol is a little is not quite as fast and loose as it is over here. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but I thought I saw people buying a beer. Yeah, I think I think you could buy oh, I'll, I'll, I'll. Guys, what's the Dollywood alcohol status? Anybody know? Cuz I know they have a lot of weird things out in the south sometimes yeah. where it's like, oh, you can't buy it on certain days at certain hours. Yeah, I don't I don't think there was booze there, dude. I don't think so. Either. I didn't see yeah. any. Weapons and alcohol beverage are not permitted. Yeah, I don't think nope. they have alcohol there. Um, is there booze at Dollywood? TripAdvisor. Sorry, but there's no booze in Dollywood. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, you that's, enjoy those roller coasters more. You know, California Adventure. It's like, yeah, go ahead, drink. How did that fucking cosmonaut guy get fucking high? Man, I'm <laughs> trying to before he got there, dude. Yeah. He was up in the he was up in the clouds and then just came right down. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday is yeah. a no go. Isn't that funny? No alcohol on a Sunday. Isn't it funny how much how far a lot of the, you know there's a lot of aspects of our country that has come a long way since like old, old when you look at olden times yeah. and then there's things like that no alcohol on a Sunday like yeah. we're yeah. still doing that in like what what no, what no it weirded me out a lot was uh when I came to California and, and there was like hard liquor at the the grocery store yeah I was like holy shit what you could just buy hard yeah. liquor here <laughs> mm. but like why not in, in New Jersey you have to go to a, a liquor store. Mm, yeah. Um, which are always hellish. Yeah. Bad time. I don't yeah. like going to vape stores. I don't like going to liquor stores. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Huh. Well, anyway, I think that about does it. Yeah. Dollywood, we had a great time. Awesome time. Go, Anybody, I, if you can go to Dollywood, go. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. You even if you even if you're not a roller coaster person, I'm as far away from oh, that yeah. as possible. You will still have at least a nice day. Just mm-hmm. even just walking around, you're gonna have a wonderful day. Staff there was wonderful. Uh, cinnamon bread was wonderful. You could you could just take it in for the day. You know, if you're more into roller coasters, maybe you want to stay there a fucking week. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But at least if you're not, you'll at least have one good day there. Um, so I really recommend that. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, I think that about does it. Yeah. Well, it was fun doing another creepy old crypt. Uh, yeah. I don't know. If we're going to. We said this earlier. Yeah. We're going to try to make a return. Because we, we're have, doing our, these more we regularly. have our annual passes and stuff. Yeah. So we're going to try to start doing it. <coughs> oh, my God. Whoa. I was regularly. holding that sneeze in the whole time, <laughs> and I, I couldn't do it anymore. Um, we're going to try to do it more regularly. Let us know. Leave a comment if you're watching this on YouTube.com. Let us know. What would you like the next one to, to be You know, on? And we would love to do the next one on location, if possible. Yeah. We could do the Arizona thing that we talked about, mm-hmm. or we could do, you know, honestly, it's been a long time since we were in a Disney park, so maybe Ooh. there would be good. You know, there's yeah. something we don't want to talk about there. Let us know what you would like to see, and we'll talk about it. You know, is a Disney park thing, not Disney park thing, another yeah. Knott's thing. Universal you know? thing. Universal we'll thing. I don't know what it was. Last night, I was up late, and I was just doing emails and stuff, and I was like, I miss the Harry Potter land. Yeah. I, I never liked Harry Potter. You go. And I didn't, you know, whatever. But then all of a sudden it was like, oh, I wish I was eating at the three broomsticks right yep. now. Oh, that place is great. That place rules. Yep. Anyway. Thanks for having we'll me on, by that. the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm glad you were uh, able anytime, to. Anytime you want, dude. Hell yeah. Let's do fun. it. Yeah. Uh, not next episode, though. No. Yeah, no, no that, that. that would be annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. This has been another creepy old crypt. We do we have do we have like a send off thing we always say. Another creepy old crypt is in the can or something. I, don't know. I think I don't know. And this ride is has operational hours have closed. No. Um. Thank you. I f- turn it the fuck off. <laughs>